Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I know it's gonna be a good day for me, and it's gonna be a good day for you too, as long as you think you deserve to have a good day. Um, I, I wanted to share this story today because, you know, I almost didn't make it. Um, I almost quit. I almost literally gave up on myself. I remember it was, man, it was a dark time in college where I literally just didn't think I could finish, man. Like mentally, physically, excuse me. I remember like at this time I had got like a, a really nice job and I had already had a job and I had got a new apartment and like there was so much abundance happening in my life at this time. But it was weird because like the the things that I wanted so bad in life, when I got it, I wasn't, I guess I wasn't happy or I didn't know how to receive it or I don't know. But I remember one thing was I really thought about just quitting college altogether. This was in my master's program and I was on a scholarship with my master's program. So this program was paid for. And so that would have dropping out of the program would have meant no more scholarship. And I, and I literally remember like just feeling like I couldn't do it. Um, I don't know if you've ever felt like that. Like you just, you can't do it. <sighs> but um, there was something that happened during that time where I came to the end of myself, where I was like, I know I can't do this like on my own. Um, like I believe in, in a higher power, you know, some call it source, some call it uh, the universe, some call it um, God. You know, for me, that that was what helped me. Um, and it wasn't just that, but there was three men in particular that really like fathered me and coached me through that dark season. The first one was uh, Pastor John, man, my pastor. Uh, I remember he would call me and he would be like, hey, man, you're at home right now, huh? And I'd be like, how do you know? He'd be like, man, get up and go to school. <laughs> He'll be like, he'll be like, bro, wake up, get dressed, and go to. I'll be like, I was like, bro, I can't, I, I can't, I feel like I. He's like, go. And I would go. Like I didn't feel like it, but I would just get dressed and I just go to class. Um, man, he just really pushed me. He gave me that push that I needed. So thank you so much, Pastor John. Uh, man he really blessed me and then also uh it was coba pastor coba canales he was my supervisor supervisor at the time and man i remember i was at therapy this was in i want to say diamond bar i was at kaiser over there you know because mentally i was off and then uh he called me and he was like hey man what's up and he just like you know, sometimes you don't need it. You don't want to hear it soft. You, you actually need to hear it a little hard. And that's what he did, man. He gave me like that that slap against the wrist. Like, hey, man, like get 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 your stuff going. <laughs> he said it different. But uh, yeah, man, Cobra, bro, he pushed me. So thank you for that. And then Wesley, man, Wesley Parker Reed, this dude, man, um, I'm forever grateful for. Wesley man because he really guided me and just he was a supporting supervisor and a supporting friend and helped me get through that season man because I thought I wasn't gonna graduate I remember sitting in one of my professor's office Jeanette Oak and I told her like I'm done <laughs> she was like you're done what you mean but uh man lo and behold I graduated got my diploma got my master's degree and um, man, out of, out of that, I I, uh, I had the privilege of of working for my dad for 16 months with his chiropractic business, helped him start it up. I mean, he had a whole new practice that he started here in Rancho. We were profitable within I want to say 60 days, and um, you know, clients, 
so and I helped really help him build his online infrastructure so super proud of that and then now working man full-time in healthcare as well so it's just like you never know who you need in those down times but just know you're gonna have those down times and that's why coaching and mentoring is so important for me because that's my story that's been my story from day one there's always been mentors in my life who have saw something in me that I didn't see in myself like and that's what a coach does a coach helps you to become the person you're supposed to be that maybe you can't even see yourself you know so because I thought about ending it man I thought about just I've thought about ending it a couple of times in my life you know but what keeps me going is purpose and knowing that like I'm breathing for a reason you know what I'm saying like when I was 15 years old um, I got into a car accident and I crashed my car like total I'm sorry my sister's car Jesus total her car and I almost died you know what I mean but there was not a single scratch on my body and that's when I knew like okay there's a purpose for my life like I'm here for a purpose and the same is for you, like, the breaths that you're taking right now, they're not accidental or coincidental. They're all purposeful. Like, you're breathing for a reason. Like, you you have something that nobody else has. Um, and so if you're feeling like giving up right now, I would just, I would just ask that, um, <sighs> take a deep breath, like, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Been a lot of um, a lot going on in the world and a lot of death and so much. And I'm just like, man, I just gotta breathe. So, anywho, coaching and being mentored has been my saving grace, and that's why I want to just give back now <laughs> to help some high-performing athletes. And so, because uh, I know, like, maybe you're right now, you're like. I, I want to get signed or you're at home and you're like, man, I was going to college and then I stopped or, you know, life happens, right? But you can literally pick up the pen and start a new chapter today, like today. And you can just, just think about this for a moment. Think about in 2021, think about having the best year you ever had. Think about getting signed to the college that you want to go to. Think about graduating. Think about graduating. And then think about after you graduate, getting hired to work a job that pays you. I don't know. People have different goals. Maybe you want a six figure job. Maybe you want to just make $70,000. Maybe you want to just make $50,000. Everybody has different preferences, but whatever that is for you, just imagine that happening in the next two, three, four years, <laughs> because it can, like, that's been my journey, that's been my story, so, I, I know, I'm no better than anyone, like, we all have the same infinite power to be great, so, uh, this Sunday, I'm going to be hosting a webinar where we're going to work through some of these things, oh my god, I'm so excited uh, to just yeah ah oh, it's gonna be dope so sign up if you haven't already the link is in my bio my bio for the webinar um it'll be on sunday at 11 o'clock a.m pacific time that's and then that'll be 2 p.m eastern standard time for everybody on the east coast and then like um it'll be a day ahead for people in australia and then I think the time in the UK is, I want to say 5 a.m. or something like that. But it'll be available for everybody all over the world. Because we're global. We are global. So, all right. <laughs> Hope you have an abundant day. This is, this is Deji here signing off. Peace and abundant love. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, Sunday.